Hello, good morning. It's uh, sunny outside. It's just 9 a.m. I went to bed at 2 and I got up at 7. <laughs> uh, I'm already working on the on the app because you guys, you know, for, uh, I finally decided to learn more about rules <laughs> instead of relying entirely on uh, Mistral AA or Gemini. And it's working okay. I'm going on step by step. Just before going to bed, uh, I wrote a page where I um, I just reflected on everything I needed to to do for the rules. It looks like that. So I'm I will have to update um, the automatic deletion thing I did yesterday, but it's okay. I think it's not a lot of lines to add. Uh, the major thing is that I reflected on every action that the user could do. Um, so also, I hit it over it. Uh, and, and I just wrote in plain English uh, what was required uh, for a valid request. Um, I started translating that with Mistral, with really short uh, comments, and I discovered that uh, the engine that is supposed to, to teach you where errors are in the rules of Firebase is not working well. <laughs> so like I get red marks uh, at some points when I shouldn't. So yes, that's Casey Neistat. I uh, was listening to some SoundCloud music before. Um, I plan to finish the rules by this morning, uh, so I can continue on the front end. But I I want to make the front end be uh, my test, my testament that the rules are working okay. So if I get any errors in the front end while developing, that would be my first uh, beta testing thing phase, and uh, I will be able to correct them while developing. And because I, I did everything myself, I understand everything that I did. Uh, so that's very cool. And I will follow you up. It is four hours after, maybe, no, uh, I started at 9 a.m. I still can get the rules to work. I did a wonderful job um, doing everything by myself, step by step, and it just doesn't want to work. For some reason, like when I'm um, fetching one document, specific document, it works, no problem. But when I'm fetching multiple with filters, it doesn't. I watched countless videos on it, uh, no one really speaks about that. Uh, I tried the rule simulation, but because it's a specific document, it works. So what should I do? Uh, okay, I did the impossible. I published a, a question on um, Stack Overflow. Um, pretty sure I'm gonna get insults and all, but I don't really care at this point. I published my whole rule files. I don't really care. If it doesn't work, I will have to scratch everything. So it's not very important. And if it still doesn't work, I might have to switch to something else, like Superbase, what? Like really Firestore rules are such complicated things. Getting external file, external document uh, to check things with the rules are not working great. And I saw that there are limits and like when you are, when you are getting m many at once, it is like estimating but not checking for each element if the re request could fail and if it could fail, even if it would work, it's failing. I, I, I don't really like the way it works. And I think a PostgreSQL um, database that is present on Superbase should work better. And because I don't have Clerk anymore, I don't have any problem with authentication. But I really don't want to start everything from scratch. So, yeah, I'm quite lost. Uh, I don't know. I spent eight hours, six hours straight on this and still not working. And I feel like a waste of time. Um, yeah. 
getting me further away from what I want to do. I just want to code, not to do so, those things. But it's so mandatory to make rules. I, I just saw a video saying that there were so many websites of uh, big restaurant chains that were based on, Superbase, on Firebase that were not secure. So they had many break, uh, breaches. Like what people in production don't really secure, I don't know. Uh, but that, yeah, that's where I am now. I may get back to you if I have some more things to say, but I'm just sad after all. Hi, I spent the last 10 minutes thinking in my bed because that's the best place uh, I have to think uh, on deep things. I was searching for different ways to do the same thing, but that would fit more the the way Firebase work. Because I heard sometimes cause that Firebase is optimized for reads and not for writes. So you do everything so that uh, reads are more um, easy in terms of uh, rules and everything, and you keep the complex stuff for the writes. Um, and that means that you can have um, data replication. Uh, for instance, in my case, I have a list of collaborators inside a sub-collection, inside the collection. And this is not the best thing because I should have the this list of collaborators in plain text, like you know, in a map or array, uh, inside uh, every component, like every uh, thing, because that would prevent me from having to access something. Uh, it's optimized for uh, efficiency if I have everything inside the same document. So. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch the idea of having a list of things and a list of collection. It's not working. I'm going to have a list of collection that contains things and I will not be able to uh, move the things at first. I can develop this, but it's like more involved than what I want to. Um, and when I will click on the thing inside the collection, then it will show the details. So I will never have to request all things of my database. I will only have to request all um, collections that I hope it's, it's going to work. I, I may try that. But the plan here is to get rid of my gets and exist uh, external document check, because this is, I think, what's getting me problems. Yo, someone working at Firebase answered my question on Stack Overflow. He's Frank Van Puffelen. He's working there. He has like 500, 585k points on Stack Overflow, so he's badass, I think. <laughs> and he explained me why it's, it was not working, mainly because, yeah, I was in, uh, when listing, I was asking Firestore, the Firestore, to check every element data. And this cannot be done with Firebase because it, it, accessing every element would take too much time. So the way it, it works is a little different. He said that Firebase security rules don't actively filter data. Instead, they check any operation you perform to ensure it can only be accessing data that rules allow. Um, so that means that like every the rules uh, is not applied um, element by element in the list. So you, your read rule may work for get operations, but it won't work for list calls. Yeah, so um, I am changing the schema, reconsidering what I'm doing. Guys, I have some great news. It is finally working. I have the database with the appropriate rules, at least to read list get the things i couldn't uh, try putting things uh, deleting and um, updating things because i don't have the appropriate things at the moment um, but that's already a great win it is 
5.27 p.m. I will take a break and go to the park uh, just after eating something. <laughs> How did I manage to get this thing to work? I just asked, thing, asked Google, asked Stack Overflow and just thought about how Firebase was working and uh, with a lot of reflection, things like that, I could find something that worked. So, yeah, sometimes it's not the best thing to code, think before doing. This is what I call a productive day and a good productive day must be ended by some cool time that be time with family, time to ourselves, watching movies, listening to music, reading books, watching YouTube videos, I don't know. I choose to watch Endor, <laughs> five episodes straight. This is a wonderful series and I really recommend you to watch it. I am not a fan of the Disney way of doing things, but I must admit, this kind of results must be applauded. So, I wish you good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.